Hi friends, today we will be learning how to add and subtract integers and without using the number line. So let's start. We've already learned in our last section about integers and how to add them on the number line. Let's revise. We learned that if you add two positive integers, we move to the right. If you are adding a negative integer, we move towards the left. And it means that adding a positive integer means that we have to add the value of the number. Or if we are adding a negative integer, it means we are reducing the value of the number. So we move towards the left. If we subtract two positive integers, we move towards the left because we are reducing its value. We are reducing a positive value from a number. But if we have to subtract a negative number from a positive number, we are removing some negative value from the number. Therefore, we are increasing the value of the number. We move towards the right. I repeat, add two positive integers, move towards the right. A positive and negative, move towards the left. Subtract two positive integers, move towards the left and subtract a negative integer, move towards the right. We did a lot of sums and subtractions. We did a lot of sums on adding and subtracting integers on the number line. Now we won't be using the number line. Let's learn using an example, 2 minus 4. You can read it as plus 2 minus 4 because 2 is positive. Whenever you have two positive signs together, you do subtraction, and the result gets the sign of the bigger number. You cannot subtract 4 from 2, but you can subtract 2 from 4, and you get 2. But 2 will get the sign of the bigger number, negative 4. So the answer is negative 2. Next, negative 4 plus 2. Again, you have two opposite signs together, minus and plus. So you'll be doing the subtraction and the answer will get the sign of the bigger number. 4 minus 2 is 2. The bigger number is 4, so the answer is negative 2. Next, you have negative 6 minus 2. When you have two similar signs, then you do addition, whether they are both negative signs or not. You have minus 6 minus 2. You will add these numbers and the answer will get the negative sign. So the answer is negative 8. Next, minus 7 plus 2. Again, you have two opposite signs, so subtract. The answer will get the sign of the larger number, so it will be negative 5. And next, negative 8 minus 8. Again, you have two similar signs, both are negative numbers, so Add these two numbers, 8 plus 8 is 16, the sign is minus. Now you have negative 8 minus negative 2. So what will you be doing? You have two subtraction signs together, so it becomes negative 8 plus 2. Now you have two opposite signs, so you'll subtract. The answer will get the sign of the larger number. So the answer will be negative 6. Now let's do negative 3 plus negative 2. When you have a positive and a negative together, the sign becomes a negative sign. So negative 3 minus 2. Now you have two similar signs, a minus and a minus. The result will be negative. So it will be negative 5. Let's move on to the next question. Minus 4 plus 8. Again, you have two opposite signs, minus and plus. So you'll be doing subtraction, and the answer will get the sign of the larger number. 8 minus 4 is 4, and that will be positive because 8 is a larger number and it is positive. Next, negative 4 plus negative 3. You have the brackets here, so open them up, and you'll get negative 4 minus 3 because a positive sign and a negative sign becomes subtraction. Now we will have two negative signs so you will be adding. The answer will be minus 7. So negative 4 minus 3 equals negative 7. 
Next, minus 4 plus 8. You have two different signs. You'll be doing subtraction, and the answer will get the positive sign because the bigger number is positive. So the answer will be 4. 8 minus 7. You have two opposite signs. So you subtract. You have positive 8 minus 7. It'll be positive because the larger number is positive. The answer will be 1. 7 minus 8. This is positive 7 minus 8. Now let's do 0 minus 8. Again, you have two opposite signs. It is positive 0 minus 8. You will be doing subtraction. The answer will be 8, but it will be negative. Now 8 minus 0. Again, opposite signs. Plus 8 minus 0. You'll be doing subtraction. And the answer will get the sign of the larger number, which is positive. So the answer is 8. So this is how you can do your sums very easily without the number line. Remember, if you have two similar signs, both a minus minus or a plus plus, you add. And the answer will get the signs of the numbers, as in both numbers were negative and or both were positive. Now, if the signs were different, as in you have a negative and a positive, you subtract. And the answer will get the sign of the bigger number. Now, let's do some sums very quickly. Negative 7 minus 8. This will be minus 15. Both are negative, and you'll be adding them to get negative 15. I repeat, 9 is 7, minus 8 is minus 15. Minus 3, minus 2, negative 5. Negative 4 minus negative 2 equals negative 2. You will replace the two signs as a positive sign. So it becomes negative 4 plus 2 equals 2. Then you take the sign of the larger number, which is negative. Negative 1 plus negative 2. Again, you remove the brackets and a positive sign and a negative sign is a negative sign. Minus 1 minus 2, you add to get negative 3. Negative 11 plus negative 86. You remove the brackets and combine to get negative 11 minus 86. You add to get 97 and it becomes negative 97. Negative 80 plus negative 30. You will be adding. It will be negative 80 minus 30. You get negative 110. Now negative 33 plus negative 33. Open the brackets to get negative 33 minus 33. We'll be adding. It will be negative 66. Next sum, minus 33 minus negative 33. Open the brackets to get a positive sign. Then you have to subtract. So this equals 0. 0 never takes any sign, neither negative nor positive. 0 will be 0 not minus zero or positive zero. Next, negative eight plus negative 30. Remove the brackets to get negative eight minus 30. They have the same signs, so you have to add to get negative 38. 41 plus negative eight. You get 41 minus eight to get 33, positive 33. Six plus eight, both numbers are positive. We'll be doing addition to get 14. 18 plus negative 8. We'll be doing subtraction. Sign of the bigger number. Bigger number is 18. The answer is 10. So this is how we do addition, subtraction on integers in a quick manner. Now let's move on to some more questions. The question is negative 5 plus 4 minus 6. What do we have to do here? How will we solve this? One way is, write all the numbers with a minus sign before each of them. So it becomes minus 5, minus 6, and then you get positive 4. Now we know what numbers are with the same sign. 
negative 5 minus 6. You add those, and then you have to add a negative sign to it. So negative 11 plus 4. Now we have opposite signs, so we have to subtract. Negative 11 plus 4 will be negative 7. I repeat, the sum was minus 5 plus 4, negative 6. First of all, we wrote the numbers with the like signs together. So it becomes negative 5 minus 6, then finally plus 4. Now we know numbers with the same signs have to be added. So you have to add 5 and 6 to get 11. Now make it a negative 11, then you add 4. This has different signs, so you have to subtract and the answer takes a sign at a larger number. So you get negative 7. Now let's move on to the next question. Minus 5, minus 4, minus negative 10. So let's start. Let's first open up the bracket. A negative sign and a negative sign becomes a positive sign. So it will be negative 5 minus 4, then plus 10. Now negative 5, negative 4. Those are with like signs. So you have to add. You get negative 9 plus 10. With different signs, you have to subtract, and then the answer takes the sign of the larger number. So the answer will be 1. Next question. Minus 20 plus 10 minus 7 minus 2. Now let's group the numbers with the like terms. We'll write negative 20 minus 7 minus 2 plus 10. Now Add all the numbers with the same sign. You get 29, negative 29 plus 10. Now with different signs, you have to subtract. So you get 19. This becomes negative because 29 is a larger number. Let's move on to the next question. Minus 6 plus negative 7 plus negative 32. Now let's remove the brackets to get negative 6 minus 7 minus 32. All of these have a negative sign. Therefore, you add them to get negative 45. Next question. 60 minus negative 2 minus negative 4. Open the brackets to get 60 plus 2 plus 4 because two negative signs become a positive sign. Therefore, you add to get 66. So this is how you can do your integer subtractions very quickly. You just need to remember plus minus is minus, minus minus is plus, and plus plus is plus. And whenever we have two opposite signs, we subtract. The answer takes a sign of the larger number. When we have similar signs, you add, and the answer takes the negative sign. So this is how you do your integer addition and subtractions quickly.